Hi, and welcome to Hope with Answers. I'm Janet Freeman Daly, a patient advocate, and I'm here with Dr. Jonathan Goldman to talk about immunotherapy. Hello, call me Jonathan. Thank you, I will. So Jonathan, immunotherapy in lung cancer. Um, can any patient have immunotherapy or is it only patients with more advanced disease? Well, I think there's a lot of things um, that we should talk about, um, including what do we call immunotherapy? Um, I like to consider really now three kinds of cancer treatment, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, usually pills, and immune therapy. And sometimes these terms get used differently, but I find that that's a helpful way to, to categorize them in my mind. Okay. So, so if a patient has, is eligible to take a targeted therapy or a TKI, which we talk about in other things, um, should they get immunotherapy first? That's such a good question, and actually right now we're really trying to answer that, but our, our best sense right now is that if you have a targetable mutation, a mutation that we can treat with a pill, that that's our best first treatment. The treatment tends to be a high level of effectiveness with less side effects and with a longer period of working. So sometimes I've had people come to me wishing they could get an immune therapy when actually a targeted therapy is clearly a better option for them. Yeah. There are other patients though that uh, for a variety of reasons either are not eligible for a targeted therapy yeah. or that um, uh, we have other markers that I'll describe in a second that suggest immune therapy is their, their best option where we really are in this period of, of precision medicine or targeted, targeted medicine uh, where we can identify for a, a particular patient what we think is, has the most likelihood of helping. Okay, so you've talked about being able to identify which patients might benefit. How do you do that? I've heard about PD-1 testing. So um, the, way we, the best way that we have so far to look for the likelihood of immune therapy helping is to look on the tumor cells for a, a, okay. a protein called PD-L1. Okay. And that is what uh, interacts uh, with PD-1. And um, by looking for PD-L1 on tumor cells, that gives me an idea that the immune system is trying to kill the cancer cells, and the cancer cells have found a, a, a defense mechanism or a shield a, or- A way to hide. Like a cloaking mechanism oh, okay. is exactly the, uh, the Star Harry Trek Potter term. <laughs> yes, Harry Potter, precisely. Okay. So. Um, when that interaction is going on, that's when we really have the, the most um, confidence that immune therapy is going to help. Um, and, and so that's when we've, we've used those immune therapies as the first therapy for what we call metastatic cancer, or cancer that's spread outside the lung that we're going to use a systemic whole body treatment for. So, so if somebody has stage one cancer, you wouldn't give them immunotherapy? Not off of a trial right now. We're, okay. There are some important questions. Could, could these be helpful after surgery, for example? But we've really not proven that, so I wouldn't do it at this point. So you mentioned PD-1, and I've heard sometimes these drugs are called PD-1 blockade mm -hmm. or immune checkpoint, what does that mean? So uh, yeah, we have lots of different terms. So uh, the checkpoint idea is that um, uh, in order to have our body's immune system not attack our own normal body cells all the time, there are these checkpoints that say to the immune system, uh-uh, you know, stop, the, uh, this is, these are normal cells, please don't attack. And so that's the immune checkpoint. And then the cancer cells have hijacked that system to turn off the immune system when we wish it would work. So we've, we are blocking the checkpoint or turning off the checkpoint with these drugs. Okay, so it says, you know, I, I really am something bad. Right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. All right, um, there's been an awful lot of hype in the news about immunotherapy, and some patients have actually said, oh, well, yes, I test positive for one of these biomarkers, but immunotherapy will cure me. What do you say to such patients? Well, I think we are very excited about immune therapy, and it, it really has given us a whole new category of treatment, which, which has, is very meaningful. However, there are still some limitations to its benefit. Uh, we, are, we don't believe that, that there's a, a real rate of, of curing patients with immune therapy, um, although there are some questions about that. But um, it, I, I would just call it another tool in our arsenal, or in, in the 
options that we have. And so it, it's not necessarily the first one that we should use for each patient. In fact, we know it's not the first one we should use for each and every patient. But we're learning more about it every year. So. Oh my gosh, almost every month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for your time, pleasure. Dr. Goldman. And thank you for joining us on Hope with Answers.